This is the non-motorized bridge at Park at Bothell Landing. It's a crossing over the Sammamish River uh, and we're replacing the old bridge which was built in the early 80s over the decades. The deterioration of the wood, you know, we've had problems with carpenter ants, surface gets slippery, also it no longer meets the ADA standards of today. Uh, so we it came time to replace it and we were fortunate to get funding from uh, we, we got federal funding, we got state funding, uh, so we begun this process to come up with a new bridge to take place of the old one. Uh, we had a lot of uh, public input, uh, you know, in, because it's very, uh, many people here have fond memories growing up here, you know, with this bridge uh, at this park. And the feedback we got was they really love this arch look and our structural engineers went back and said, okay, how are we gonna make this, uh, how are we gonna have this bridge that is so unique and arched, not just the uh, outriggers and so on, the, the trusses, but also the deck itself. And they said, well, the deck to meet ADA standards today needs to be flatter, but we can still make the wood parts structural and arched. So the new bridge is what they came up with. Uh, it is from the same company that supplied the original bridge back in the 80s. Uh, of course, it's up to today's standards. The length of the new bridge is uh, approximately 140 feet. The old bridge weighs about 40,000 pounds including the decking and everything. Uh, whereas the new bridge, the wood parts weigh about 60,000 pounds, and then the concrete decking weighs an additional 80,000 pounds. Uh, so that explains the very deep foundation we had to install for the new bridge, which is about 70 feet deep on both north and south abutment.